Hi guys, welcome to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a melon ball drop cocktail. You won't know anything about this, but it's taken me about five, at least five takes to get out that single, okay, 10 takes to get out that single sentence. So this is the one. As you all know, well, as a lot of you all know, I haven't made a lot of Midori cocktails recently, um, or at all. I don't make a lot of green drinks, as do a lot of bartenders. Um, but apparently since 2012 in some countries, it's had a bit of a resurgence. Uh, I think 2012, 2013, they changed up the recipe and they made it less sweet and basically made it more natural tasting, less, less artificial flavors. So it's been a long time since I've used it, but uh, this is pretty much just a teaser for an upcoming video and I'm gonna do a Midori compilation. I know that there's many people that still absolutely love Midori. So this one's for you guys. I'm a little bit worried about this one because with these uh, ratios, it, it does look like it's gonna be quite sweet, but I'm gonna give it a crack. It's the first time I've tried it, so I'll let you guys know. So stick around to the end and you'll uh, get some feedback. So 60 mil, two ounces of Midori, which is a lot of Midori, followed by your preferred vodka. I'm using an organic vodka, Antipodes, which is an Australian vodka. 30 mil, one ounce. Add that straight in. Followed by elderflower liqueur. You can use St. Germain's or I'm using Gifford's, which is incredible by the way. It smells so good. So 15 mil, half an ounce, and likewise for your fresh lemon juice. 15 mil, half an ounce. And before I shake it, I'm gonna sugar rim the glass and then put some ice in it so I can make sure it's cold by the time I finish shaking. So just use a piece of citrus fruit, roll it around your glass to, to moisten it, to moisten it, to moisten it. And then roll it through some sugar. Well, oh, that's a bit thick. Give it a tap to get rid of the excess. And this is gonna be sweet. Now for your cocktail shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 12 seconds. Ooh, that's green. Then strain into your chilled cocktail glass. I'm a little bit concerned for the color of this one. It is like so intensely bright green and 60 mil, two ounces is a lot of Midori. I was actually gonna mention that this is one ingredient that you have to show a lot of restraint with. So this recipe, I'm a little bit wary. Sugar rim, sugar from the Midori and sugar from the uh, elderflower cure. But they have the melon ball drop cocktail. Cheers. I feel like it's gonna need some more citrus to, to balance out that, uh, that sugar content, but, or just halve the Midori. Cheers. Actually not too bad. Uh, really, really good, very, very strong melon taste. And then you get that elderflower coming through. Uh, I think the, the vodka actually dilutes the sweetness a little bit as well. Um, it's actually a lot better than I thought. So for those Midori fans out there, give it a try. Maybe drop it down to 45 mil or an ounce and a half. Let me know what you think and leave me some feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.